the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom. They're in my backpack. I'm doing a bunch of tests right now for the Kinetika channel. Go into the lake, get some test shots. Can't wait to tell you all about my experience using these drones for the last month. Inside this back box is two drones, not just one, two. Here's the two controllers, and here they are. Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic 2 Pro. So yeah, we've done a bunch of reviews on both of these drones on Kinetika, so make sure to check that out, but this is just my little vlog. We're gonna take up uh, both drones here and do some side-by-side -side comparisons of each so that you can see a difference between the sensors. I will tell you that the Mavic, to Pro is definitely my favorite. The image quality off of this in the 10-bit recording mode is fantastic. It's uh, reminded me a lot of the Phantom 4 Pro or the Inspire 2, which is kind of insane when you think about how small this is to finally have it on a Mavic series. But the versatility of having the zoom on the zoom version, it's just so great. And especially if you're an event shooter, you're gonna find the zoom being really practical and something that you would probably value more than just pure image quality. If you're not aware, the Zoom has 8-bit recording. It's got the same sensor from the previous Mavic 1. It just has this Zoom feature, 24 millimeters to 48 millimeters. And then this one is just locked at 28 millimeter equivalent, but a one inch sensor by Hasselblad, way less noise. You get the 10 bit 4K. Unfortunately, you don't get 4K at 60 frames per second, but you can shoot 120 at 1080p, which is great. Um, so yeah, let's try the Mavic 2 Pro first. I'm gonna shoot log uh, at 10 bit 4K. All right, this is my new friend, Brennan. Hey, hey. Here's, uh, he's going to do some uh, kayaking. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, right? Stand up paddling. Oh, dang it. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a paddleboard. Uh -huh. That's awesome, that's man. That's awesome, man. I think, uh, I think I'm going to film Brendan with the drones here. It'll be fun. Just by happenstance, I met this awesome dude, Brandon, and uh, it's a perfect subject to film while uh, testing the drone. So we're going to start out with the Mavic Pro. I just landed the Mavic Pro and of course, just my luck, it just started raining. Perfect timing actually. It would have been bad if it was raining when I was out there. So I'm gonna pack the drone up and maybe wait it out, see if it gets better. As I kind of wait out this slight drizzle, I don't want to risk breaking this drone. Obviously that would be very bad. Uh, DJI is very kind to let us use them. Um, but yeah, while I am sitting here just waiting on these clouds to move, let me just tell you my thoughts on the Mavic 2s. Um, I personally have never used a Mavic professionally. I have always used Phantoms. We have the Inspire as well from DJI that we use for Kinetika. It was quite a joy using these over the last month. 
We went down to a place called Rock Island in Tennessee, which is a really beautiful location. Uh, waterfalls and cliffs and stuff and that was a really great place to get some really beautiful shots um, we've also done some tests here at the lake this lake here is like right down the street from our office so we always come down here to do tests because it's beautiful and it's nearby um, and I'll say this coming from an Inspire 2 with an X7 uh, of course I prefer that the gimbal on that is amazing the fact that it has full 360 degree rotation separate from the drone itself is amazing. But I will say that the active track modes on both of these drones here, the new Active Track 2.0, is extremely good. I was using it on Brendan here earlier when he was out um, and just, you know, paddling around, and it worked flawlessly. Uh, well, not completely flawlessly. There were a couple moments where it didn't work perfect. Now I'm gonna do a spin. Oh, lost him. The Active Track 2.0 is using a combination of the 2D camera uh, data and the 3D tracking data from the front facing sensors here. So you're getting a really precise track. Um, that means that even if you were to walk, you know, around in these trees here, you would actually still get uh, decent track so that's good you don't have that on the inspire the footage coming off of this one in particular is quite spectacular i don't know if it's better than a phantom 4 pro we're gonna do some tests with it on kinetica so check that out i loved using the phantom 4 pro i always felt like the phantom 4 pro was the bare minimum for a drone if you're doing professional work um, I never used Mavics because I just, even though they're so convenient how small they are, it just was not, like, just wasn't worth it for me with the image quality. The image quality of the original Mavic to me was just garbage. I know that, you know, a lot of people use it and they like it, um, but compared to the Phantom 4 Pro, which isn't honestly that much bigger, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. This one here, the Mavic 2 Pro, totally fixes everything for me personally I can honestly say that this is truly like a real pro drone but the amazing thing is, is it's super small obviously it's not a phantom yeah it's fast it's extremely fast um, I've actually been a little nervous to fly it because it's so fast um, the obstacle avoidance is good it's a little annoying sometimes so I turn it off sometimes when I'm like you know taking off near it or there's trees nearby um, I've been flying drones now for like, I guess six years, ever since the Phantom 1. And Mavic 2 is really up there with the Phantoms and the Inspire as far as the software. DJI is just incredible. They've always been great. And the obstacle avoidance additions on this are fabulous. The zoom, I don't know. I Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the zoom. Uh, I like the image quality. I like the versatility, but you know, for me, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of a whore for image quality. Uh, so I'm gonna always choose image quality over extreme practicality. Where it would be, you know, hard to justify is if I were in a situation where I'm traveling a lot and I'm lugging around an Inspire and I'm like, oh, I'm a whore for image quality, so that's why I use an Inspire. That's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying like, look, they're the exact same. They're the exact, exact same size. You just lose the versatility of the zoom on the Pro. Um, so for me, I'm gonna choose the Pro. I think that's the one to get. Um, you guys haven't, I haven't tested the zoom here today yet. So I'm gonna do that now. It looks like it's cleared up. Uh, so I'm gonna switch blades because my blades broke uh, a couple times. So <laughs> I'm using the same blades on both.
One of the things I really love about the zoom is I can actually see my focal length here as I'm changing it. I can even do like a quick a quick swipe up and it does a full zoom nice and fast. You can also swipe back and it goes all the way back instantly as you're flying. So it creates a really cool look. One of the main things that everybody's gonna wanna see is A-B tests between both of these cameras. We're doing a very extensive review on both of these on Kinetika, but I'm gonna just do some tests here. I'll play them for you here on the vlog. But uh, I'm gonna take the blades off for safety reasons um, and just set the camera up, get some nice shots, try to set them at the same focal length. So obviously this one's at 28 and then this one I'll zoom to roughly 28 millimeters. Um, and we'll do some tests with the 4K, with the ISO, uh, and the slow-mo. So, let's check it out. That about does it for my little mini review vlog on the Mavic 2s. Like I said, there's a ton of content that we've done on the Kinetika channel. Link will be below in the description. We did a full featured review, top 10 video. Um, I'm just trying to do some vlogs and I wanted to share my experience with the Mavics with you guys a little bit more personal. Um, the Mavic 2 Pro is again my favorite. I'm finding that it has the best image quality and it's something that I value more than the versatility of the Zoom. The Zoom, however, is a fabulous drone as well. There's a lot of upgrades, not just the lens. You get a better bit rate, you get better obstacle avoidance compared to the Mavic 1 Pro. So I would definitely still go with this over the original Mavic or the Mavic Air, for example. Um, if there's anything specific that you guys want to see on this channel that's maybe not a good fit on the Kinetika channel, leave a comment below and just let me know. And make sure that you're subscribed and enable notifications so that you can see all the videos that I will be making on the new Mavics. So, uh, super windy. Sorry about that. Audio is not the best. I don't have Connor here to help me. So, but yeah, Mavic 2s, they're amazing. I highly recommend them. Let me know in the comments section what you want to see on this channel with these drones. I have them. So, ask away. See you guys next time.